Good afternoon, cadets. Master Hernandez again. All right, today we're going to discuss rank insignia. In insignias for officer. We're going to talk about rank insignia for enlisted. So if anyone feels tired today during my period of instruction, make sure you stand up, move to the back of the classroom. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and kick it. All right, Marine Corps JROTC rank structure. The purpose of this period of instruction is to familiarize you, the cadet, with rank structure including cadet officer and cadet enlisted insignia. Objective. First objective of the Marine Corps JRTC officer rank and insignia is going to be our first objective to be able to identify that. Number two, identify the Marine Corps JRTC enlisted rank insignia. And number three, differentiate between the Marine Corps JRTC officer and enlisted rank and insignia. And the final bullet down there, identify the Marine Corps JRTC officer and enlisted rank structure in sequence. So at the end of the uh, period of instruction, every one of you should be able to give us or give me your assessment as to how much you learn. We're going we're to go over the same rank structure again and you'll be graded. Is that, is that understood? Any questions? All right, let's continue on. Some key words. Insignia. An insignia is an emblem, a badge, a medal, a distinguishing uh, mark of an officer or an office, honor, position, or a mission. I have an example on my collar like what I have right here. That's what an enlisted rank is like. And then we have what's called a cadet major. And it's also an officer. You can show one of the silver ones up there. That's an example of an officer rank. Then we have what's called a, a cadet first sergeant. And that will be the dark, dark one. I'll be able to show that one. That's, that's what a first sergeant looks like, similar to that. So these are officer and enlisted ranks. All right. Who can tell me what you already know about Marine Corps rank structure? Anybody? Cadet? No Not idea. A whole lot. No idea. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and help fill those, fill those blanks in right now. All right. Introduction. One of the most distinguishing features about Marine Corps JRTC is the cadets have to wear their uniforms at least how many times during a week? Once a week, sir. Outstanding. Good answer. Rank and insignia identify cadets as officers and a cadet enlisted rank. And we also notice how there's starting to be a trend of redundancy here, right? All right, Marine Corps JRTC rank structure was modeled after the Marine Corps, the active duty side of the house. So you guys are having, it mirrors the rank that we have for ROTC cadet is the same rank as the Marine Corps, no difference. Officer and enlisted ranks. There's an example here, a female in her dress, mesh dress uniform and a, a cadet in her dress uniform right here. Uniforms are issued and worn by cadets as the same as worn by active duty Marines. So there is no differentiation. You get the same exact uniform what I'm wearing, you're going to wear it as well. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about officer rank structure first. So we have what's called the insignia or the grade for a cadet officer. The first one being cadet colonel. If you notice, and he already showed you that on the screen there, the silver is going to uh, identify what a, a cadet lieutenant colonel looks like. So that's kind of what it looks like up close. We have what's called a cadet lieutenant colonel, which is going to be two diamonds. And then you have a cadet major. What do you think that's going to be? One, sir. That is correct. One diamond. Now it's going to change a little bit. We're going to have spheres. So the spheres are going to go up. Same number. Cadet captain is going to have three spheres. Cadet first, uh, lieutenant. How many? Two. That's right. Two. What do you think cadet second lieutenant is going to be? One, sir. That's right. Good job. Good answer. Right. Now let's go ahead and talk about enlisted ranks. Cadet Sergeant Major, four rockers and three sheriffs at the top. That's kind of an example right there. First Sergeant's going to be three rockers, three sheriffs at the top with the, with the uh, lamp of learning in the middle. Cadet Gunnery Sergeant, two rockers, three sheriffs at the top. And then you have a Staff Sergeant, one rocker, three sheriffs at the top. Next one you have is Cadet Sergeant, no rockers, because it's E5, no rockers. Cadet Corporal, what do you think it's going to be? Two. That's correct, with a lamp of learning. Cadet Lance Corporal, one, and what do you think the last one's going to be? No idea, sir. Lamp of learning is all it is. That's a pr cadet private. Are there any questions over cadet enlisted rank? So far we've gone over officer rank and enlisted rank. Now let's play a little game. I'm going to hit this little game for you. How much time do we got? Uh, probably about like 15 seconds. All right, I'm going to hit continue. We'll try this little game, see if we'll play. Let's take a little time, we might not get it. 
All right, while my game's getting ready to kick off, I want you to just remember ranks are utilized by ROTC, and we're going to continue to uh, practice this at this time. So now I'll go ahead and get ready to take a test. <laughs> 